to reflect the changing roles of doctors in our society. The world we live in is changing. The population is aging and technology is rapidly advancing. So it's important that a curriculum changes to reflect these needs. Some lectures will still be in person, but there will be more that will be featured online so that students can learn at their own pace. There will be more alignment between the different courses. So for example, in a given week, the clinical skills, the small group learning, and the lectures will all be arranged around the same theme. For example, heart failure. The curriculum will allow for new learning opportunities like interprofessional education or community work really integrated within the curriculum as opposed to an extracurricular activity. In response to student feedback, increased exposure to clinical settings and community populations is a focus of the new curriculum. So there is going to be a much more focus on LGBTQ education, Aboriginal education, and learning more about marginalized populations as they would relate to patient care. So in the new curriculum, there's going to be more flexibility, more unscheduled time, and because of that, students will have the opportunity to pursue their interests both inside and outside of medicine, whether that means shadowing more or being involved in a club or doing community work outside.